Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, for those who follow me on Instagram you'll see I've recently uploaded this really simplistic sun and sea illustration and I just wanted to break it down for you in a video to show you how I put it all together. Okay so right off the bat you can see I've got this image here and it's an image I found online ages ago and the only reason I saved it was because I absolutely loved the colors. And when I was trying to find something new to, to create last week, I, uh, I came across this palette and I thought, I think that'll work really well as a, like a simplistic sunset dusky type of color palette. So I used it as inspiration and I created, it's not all the correct colors, but it's, it's heavily influenced by this palette. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna pretty much start from scratch. I'm going to create, I'm not sure how many colors is there, but we'll create a few squares up above. And then all we're going to do is I'm just going to sample these colors. Okay, so now that the main colors have been sampled, I just want to get some variations on these two here, some darker and perhaps lighter shades as well. So I'm going to select that color and I'd like to go a little bit lighter on this one. So we're just going to drag straight up, find a lighter version of that color. And I want to do the same with this one. So I think with that palette, we're pretty much ready to go. That is very similar to that. So I might just get rid of that. And then I'm going to select all of these colors, go into my swatches panel, and you can see I've already got them sampled here, but in the, for the sake of this tutorial, let's do it again. So I'm going to create a new folder. And as you can see, it's popped all of those into this folder for me over here. Okay, so now we're going to get creating. So I've already created this background, so I'm just going to leave it here. So I'm going to lock my background layer and we'll start creating the sun. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my line segment tool here. I'm going to hold down. I'm going to go to my polar grid tool. And this will make the actual sun very easy to create as well as all the um, the larger circles surrounding the sun. So before I, I take my finger off the mouse, I'm just gonna press my left arrow to get rid of those lines because I don't need them. And then I'm gonna use my up and down arrows to decide on the amount of rays I want coming out of the sun. So I think five is good. And then I'm going to hold shift to make sure it stays in a perfect circle and it doesn't distort. So holding down shift and release. And I'm just going to, for now, give that a white stroke. There we go. Okay. And then what I want to do is I just want to ungroup. So to do it a couple of times. There we go. Select them all. And I just want to pop it right in the middle of my artboard. Okay, so now I want to color my sun. So I need one thing I don't have in my color palette is the color of my sun itself. But what I want to do is a very, very pale yellow. Like so. And then remember, I've got all my colors already in my swatches panel. So I'm going to start from the lightest color. And because we put darker shades in, we should have a nice, oh, let's just get rid of that stroke. We should have a nice change from the salmon pink into our purple. Okay, so now we have our colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna regroup all of these. It's not quite the same as our original design, but you get the gist. So I'm gonna take my brush tool um, you can do this on a tablet if you want, or you can just use your mouse. And then I will just want to select the end of my stroke and we're going to complete the shape so it completely covers the bottom half of our circles. And then I want to select it and go to my smooth tool because there's some jittery edges here, so we're just going to smooth this out into nice waves, like so. I'm just going to use my eyedropper and make sure it's the same color as my background. 
and there we have it you can play around with these waves to have it look like you want it to right so now before i create the water i want to do my clouds and uh, the method i use for these clouds is pretty simple i'm going to go to my ellipse tool i'm going to select the same color as the sun and create some circles so like so and then i'm going to get my rectangle tool go to the middle of these circles and just draw a rectangle underneath them and then I'm going to select everything let's go a bit closer I'll select everything and I'm going to go to Pathfinder divide right click ungroup let's get rid of that so now we've got all of these elements of our cloud in sections so what I want to do is select all the top ones and I'm just going to unite them so they're one shape and do the same at the bottom. It probably would have been easier to do this beforehand, but hey-ho. And then this bottom half of the clouds, I'm just going to squish up a bit. And there you have it. And I think with the original design, I just put this slightly off like so and colored it one of the colors of my sun. So let's go with this dark pink. I'm going to group this. And then we'll layer this so it's touching that dark pink portion of the sun, like so. Okay, so now that we have our clouds, I want to create my waves coming at the bottom of the circle. So first I want a reference point. So I want the outside of my design to be the same size as this outer circle here. So I'm just gonna double click to go into that, copy that circle, come back here and Control Shift V to paste it in place. So I have a marker, but now I can't see anything. So I'm just going to give that a nice white stroke and a transparent inside okay so i want to use this initial wave as a reference for the rest of my waves coming down so i'm going to use my direct selection tool and i want to copy just hold down shift and copy all of these anchors over here copy and paste and for now i'm just going to make the stroke white and let's just get rid of that and that and I'm gonna up the size to about seven and there we have our first wave and then I'm gonna hold down alt drag and shift and drop to make a copy and then before I select away from that copy I'm gonna hold down control and press D to give me my additional copies so let's zoom in and now we have our basics in place. Now, all I want to do is I want to make sure that these lines of the sea match the colors used in my sunset. So we'll start with the top one. I'll go into my swatches and color it appropriately and continue all the way down. Okay, so now obviously I need to cut any excess and make it all nice and insular within this circle here. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to select my clouds and lock them so they're not in our way. And then I want to select everything and I'm going to be using my shape builder to clean up this design. So we're just holding down alt and dragging along the, the elements that we don't want to see. Okay, so now I... I want to make these bits in between these lines transparent so I want to cut all of this away so to do that what I want to do is I just want to expand all of these lines because these are still lines I want to turn them into objects so I'm gonna go select them going to object expand appearance and there we go so now they're all individual objects as opposed to lines but remember now that I've done that I can't manipulate them as lines anymore so it's the point of no return when you expand a line 
Okay, so now let's select everything again. And now I want to get rid of all of these inside bits. So now that that's done, what you want to do is some final cleanup. Now, whenever you use the Shape Builder tool, what happens is even though I've got rid of that purple in between these lines, the purple in effect still exists underneath the lines. So if I just deselect everything, but if I move this, you can see the purple is underneath it and we don't want that. So a similar thing now has happened here. So as you can see, this bit of the sun, the middle part, I'm just going to click away from it so you can see, you might notice a very thin pink line underneath it. That's because this pink still lives under here. This still lives under here. So in the same way, we essentially want to cut these so they're their own shapes and they're not affecting the look or the color of any other shape. Okay, so to avoid confusion, I'm just going to now get rid of this circle reference that was the reference to our waves and now you can see some of these clearly have that purple because it had a white background that we couldn't see before so yeah it just looks generally very very messy so let's get that cleaned up okay so i want to do this top one first this lighter color so i'm just going to sample this color but this generally is what happens but just undo it and you'll still have the color sampled when it comes to drawing over this so we'll do that one and while we've got the same color we'll do this one as well and then finally the bit of our sun that matches that color too so if I unselect everything now and move this we've got no nasty hidden images underneath that which we actually want to see so now that I've done that I'm going to continue with the rest of the illustration And there we have it, a nice clean illustration. I love minimal design and I love the fact that to achieve it, you've pretty much got to boil down something that can be quite complex into its purest form. But hopefully that was helpful guys and I shall be back probably next week with a brand new video. You guys take care, bye now.